uh, live stream for you for our autism awareness giveaway uh, this month. And just a reminder for those of you that haven't joined yet, please join uh, at luckykit.com forward slash giveaway. I'm going to put that uh, URL here in the live stream as well. And also, I'm going to showcase all the different products that you can win. And we'll be picking a winner and mm -hmm. making an announcement uh, for this week here shortly as well. Um, um, I see my team is going to be selecting the winner uh, later today. And also, um, we have a special guest that's going to be joining us. Uh, she, he's on the way, he's trying to get home right now. Once he get home, he will also join the live stream and kind of explaining about uh, the product that he has and how that works. So uh, for those of you that's joining, please comment below to win. And uh, we'll be picking a live winner today as well. And uh, let me first change my screen here. And I'm going to be talking about all the different scenes uh for our autism awareness giveaway so for this month for the month of april we're choosing one lucky winner uh every single week that's going to be winning the entire giveaway bundle the winner will be announced we try to announce friday uh, uh but if we're, we have some delay please forgive us uh, for some delay in the winners but this is all the product that you can win first of all this is the, the come down corner kit by lucky kit which is our in-house brand uh, in, inside the Countdown Corner Kit, it includes the Fidget Marble Maze, the Fidget Bubble Pop Weighted Animal Lap Pad, the Weighted Neck Pillow, and also a rideable Weighted Lap Pad, which is uh, our own version of a Weighted Lap Pad that you can ride on it using a water pen. And it also comes with a Countdown Corner uh, printable. So the Countdown Corner Kits really offer the kids uh, valuable resources for managing emotions and also self-regulations. The kit is designed to have all the different item in it so you can use it at a home setting or you can use it at the school setting um, depends on where are you are you a teacher or uh, maybe a stay-at-home mom or if you're homeschooling this is also good, really good for homeschooling uh, parents and uh, it comes with different type of fidget toys as well we have a silent fidget toy that's our best seller the fidget marble maze and it it really offer a comprehensive uh, sensory experience that really encourage calmness and also regulations and also help kids with refocusing, particularly beneficial for kids on the spectrum or other sensory uh, issues. And the kids is to design to provide those e essential sensory input to help navigate the overwhelming situation and also help uh, promoting emotional well, uh, well-being and also aiding in the self-regulation during the moment of stress or anxiety. And the next part of the, the giveaway, besides our Countdown Corner case, is uh, this month, every single week, we're also giving away a Focus Fidget Bundle. Um, this is sponsored by Hedgehog House, which is the, the only Parker was with me on the live stream earlier this week, uh, kind of doing, doing a light demonstration of his product already. And as part of his product, it, uh, it comes with uh, uh, the Hoglet Fidget Computer Mouse. Um, it is a combination of both pro uh, productivity and also help with relaxations. The product is designed with a special texture on top of the mouse. So it, it's not just a mouse cover. When you buy it, it also comes with a mouse that's specially designed. And when you click on it, it's actually silent as well. Uh, this, this innovative uh, wireless mouse not only fulfills the computer needs, but you also, sit, uh, you also serve as a fidget uh, gadget that you can use at home or use it in the classroom setting, or you also make it perfect for individuals that are seeking for additional uh, sensory stimulations, or it could be beneficial from the people that are seeking for tactiles and additional tactile movements. And besides the computer mouse, it, the bundle also comes with a fidget keychain that is with the same material that's a full, a full grade silicone that's safe and uh, for the kids to use. So for the keychain, that's a portable stress relief uh, tool that is featuring a special uh, texture. And uh, that's those are the two wonderful products that our sponsor, Hedgehog House, is providing with all of our audience this month. So for those of you that haven't entered, and make sure you also comment below uh, in the comment for those of you who's watching live or watching the replay, let me know what is your favorite product for this month's Autism Awareness Giveaway. And we'll be also choosing a winner uh, out of today's live stream and, uh, uh, and giving out some uh, live um, and announcing live winner as well. So please comment below and let us know what is your favorite product. And thank you, Angela, for showing uh, for showing up and joining my live stream today. 
uh, I don't have Parker with me today, just myself. And but we'll have another uh, business joining us here shortly. Uh, Mario is the name for the business owner. He will be joining the live stream here shortly. Uh, but I'm just holding the phone. Uh, I'm just holding the live stream here <laughs> while I'm waiting for him to join. But I'm gonna be kind of um, recapping all the different products we'll be giving away uh, for the month of April for the autism awareness uh, giveaway. The next set of product that we're also giving away as this month's uh, Autism Awareness Giveaway is designed to enhance writing and really enhance uh, writing skills uh, for, for kids that uh, that is uh, that doesn't have a really good handwriting. Actually, I might need to use this myself. My handwriting needs some work. And my wife always say my handwriting is bad, <laughs> hard to read. But fortunately, most of my work is all done on the computer nowadays. So I don't really write a lot of stuff. I just type everything in. So, but the unique product that uh, our, one of our sponsors is Handy Scenes. They provide handy writers and sports writer. Those two product is uh, designed to enhance the writing grips for children, usually kindergarten age and up. And of course it's trusted uh, worldwide. And also it, this particular writing uh, uh, tool feature a wrist and you have a loop to really help the kids with uh, helping them to um, identify those uh, triangle grip for for holding the pencil or holding the pen and it also is available in a range of different colors and packages and it seamlessly integrate like fun learning and mo uh, fine motor skill development as well and additionally uh, they are also giving away one of their wacky web which is their silent fidget uh, the wacky web is a fidget where you can push the the token or this smiley face that you see, I know it's kind of small. You can push that through this uh, kind of a maze. Well, it's not a maze, but this this silent uh, fidget toys, then you can go uh, back and forth. And uh, this is a, another uh, very fun and interactive uh, silent fidget toys that you can also provide. You can also, uh, this is actually designed by Handy Scenes uh, as part of the occupational therapist. Uh, it's actually designed by one of the occupational therapists on their team. Uh, it was designed to help with uh, kids that have uh, like issues with their fine motor skill as well. So I see uh, Angela have a comment. It's so hard to choose a favorite product shown this week. I saw Hawklet. Uh, Jason is holding the phone down. Yes, I'm trying to hold him down the phone forward because the guest is late. So I'm just going to talk or like try to talk as long as the guest uh, until the guest show up. So. And I also have a comment here from Angela saying Handy Sing is an amazing company. And uh, do the silent fidget are available? Yes, the silent fidget are available on Amazon. If you go to Amazon and just search for Handy Things, uh, you should be able to find it, hopefully. And uh, actually, I just find it. So type in Handy Sing in Amazon, you should be able to find all the uh, silent fidget toy. They have more than one version. So this is another one they have. Uh, let me show you really quick. So this is another one they have. It's called, uh, I believe it's called Diving Dolphin. It's the same concept, but it's just a, have a dolphin design, as you can see. And uh, the kids can push this uh, dolphin here through the, through, through the design and really help with, like it, it kind of serves with helping kids with fine motor skills and it's designed to be fun and also learning at the same time. And you also promote uh, kind of uh, you know, eye, uh, hand eye coordination at the, at the same time as well. So, okay, so down to the next part that we're also giving away this month. We're also giving away the Blackout Bed 10. The Blackout Bed 10 is sponsored by Z10. Uh, the owner is uh, Danny, and she was on the live stream with me yesterday showcasing her product. But her product is designed to help kids that have um, sleeping issue to have a better sleep. So it is designed to be portable and very easy to fold up. And you can also pop it right open. And then um, again, this is a non-tech uh, drug-free uh, alternative to help like uh, help with sleep. And this is also can serve as a blackout curtain alternative. So instead of using blackout to curtain, uh, you can use the, the uh, blackout bed tent designed by uh, Zden. And they, uh, this product can block out 99% of the light. So if you want to, uh, if you have uh, trouble sleeping with the lights, and this is an excellent product to help block, block that out. And also the material that she choose doesn't have any smell. So it's also excellent for kids that have sensory issues or have uh, like strong like sense of smell. 
because it doesn't come with any smell, so it's not going to trigger any um, meltdown or tantrum that come with like the, the smell as well. So that's an, another very, very unique feature that uh, the Z tens, uh, blackout bed tens have. So, and of course, this is also uh, CPAP uh, user friendly. This is for kids, I mean, for people with kids that have sleep amnia, uh, they can also use that as part of the product. And also the product also come with like a window. If you don't want to be 100% peach, uh, peach black while you're using it, you can also open like a side window <laughs> at this uh, tiny tent here to let sunlight inside, uh, inside the tent. So those are some of the unique feature uh, as part of the, the product for, for Z10 as well. So let me go ahead and talk about next product. So this next product is supposed to be the, the live stream demonstration today, but the owner is a little bit late and waiting for him right now. But um, the product we're trying to demonstrate today is uh, the board game from Be Savvy. Be Savvy is a strategy board game that's designed to uh, engage the kids and also learning about um, science and some information about the bee while they are uh, engaging the game. Of course, I will let Mario explain it further once she she uh, he was able to come up at the live stream. Uh, but let me go go ahead and answer some comment here. So Angela, thank you uh, for joining. Uh, Angela say yeah, and also uh, Kristen is saying cool. Okay, thank you for participating as well. And Angela have another comment say. Uh, look like an awesome, awesome product. My kids, my son could use this. I got to check them out. Yeah, definitely check out the product that's being featured uh, in this month's uh, live stream giveaway. And uh, we will be trying to feature all the different product and do demonstration for the product as well. And uh, for the Be Savvy board game, I was actually playing it with my two kids uh, last weekend as well. So it was very interesting and very engaging as well. Um, let me kind of message uh, Mario to make sure he's he's not getting lost here, hopefully. Uh, and he should be hope hopefully to join us in the live stream here shortly. Uh, so uh, let me give me one second here as I'm trying to multitask and try to find our guest today. <laughs> I think our guest today got lost a little bit. So let me make sure he can rejoin today's live stream so we can still do the demonstrations uh, based on the time that we have uh, allocated. Um, Okay, so while I'm waiting for the guests, uh, for those of you just uh, just joined the live stream, this month we're doing an autism awareness giveaway, and I'm just showcasing all the different products you can win. If you haven't uh, entered to win yet, you can visit luckykid.com forward slash giveaway to enter this month's giveaway. And we'll also be picking some live uh, winner for the people that's participating in today's live stream. And the product we're giving away for the live stream viewers is the Be Savvy uh strategy games that's uh designed to uh designed to help you know kids with uh learning about uh, bees and learning about uh different science a very interesting scientific fact about the bees and uh, beehive okay so beside the bee savvy board games uh, this month we're also giving away uh, a few stem toys and also water toys uh, stem toy this is and the water toys is sponsored by gritty kids one of our sponsors and their product include uh, just add fruits and vegetable steam kit, which is a blend of uh, science and art. And you can use it to do uh, several different interesting uh, scientific experience. Uh, for example, you can create a potato battery using their kit uh, that you can, uh, they have different items that come inside the kit that you can do different experiment. In each of the kit, usually you can do 10 or, more, or 20 different type of scientific experiment. And also you come with a manual about what kind of experience that you can do. And the kid also, uh, uh, like I say, uh, like they indicated, the kid also encourage the hands-on exploration of topics like chemical reactions, osmosis, uh, and electricities. And also it's very beneficial uh, for, for kids with um, you know, sensory needs or with autism. And this also help with like a learning. It can also be used as a learning um, toys and a learning uh, learning activity that you can do as a family. 
And this comprehensive kit also offer a kind of stimulating and structured learning experience. So that way, um, you can you can use that as a as a teaching tool, a teaching tool. And this is really excellent for those of you that's doing homeschooling as well, because this could be like this kit, and they have a lot of different version of it as well. Uh, they have like just add sugar, they have just add sun, they have just add fruit, they have like a lot of different variations. Each of it could be could, could use multiple times as part of the science lesson if, for those of you that are homeschooling as well. So, and I got a comment here from Angela saying that uh, she would love their water toys. I'm very excited when Risa told us about it a few months back. Yeah, <laughs> Angela, thank you for <laughs> following us. And, uh, um, and we'll let you know as soon as the water toy is, is launched. Uh, currently, it's not for, it's not launched on Amazon yet. We're in the middle of getting that everything ready for the upcoming uh, product launch. For the for, but for talking about the water toy, the Bobby Bass toys is a three in one uh, bow design. The Bobby is designed to uh, spark creativity and also product uh, problem solving skills, while adding an uh, exciting twist to the STEM uh, learning. It's also uh, they also use non toxic silicone with smooth edge and uh, you really um, focusing on safeties and make it a, a perfect water toys or bath toys for toddlers or even babies. And that's also interactive because uh, you can actually take the two component apart. Uh, you can take the top and the bottom apart and you can put it back together as well. So again, uh, the the winner will be randomly receive uh, the the winner will be receiving one of those uh, items as well. The next sponsor that's also part of this month's giveaway is uh, Benny World. So Benny World provide a product that uh, is a stuffed animal that comes with a book alongside with a token reward system. So uh, their tagline is really the bear with purpose or the stuffed animal with purposes. So with 15 tokens that's included, the children can learn reward by demonstrating the act of kindness and also empathy. And their different animal actually is designed to teach different social skill was different social kind of concept. For example, Sparkle the dog and uh, is kind of designed to help kids to understand how to take care, take care of rescue dog, whereas uh, Seaweed the turtle is designed to help kids to understand like ocean conservations. And inside the book, they try to tie the book stories alongside with the stuffed animal. So this is also an excellent way to teach kids about those very unique uh, concepts like animal welfare or oceans uh, conservations. And each of the packages uh, include a unique activation code for printing uh, ad adoption certification as well. It promotes a sense of ownership and also responsibility. And this also helps to really teach kids uh, like different concepts, especially related to social skill and also reinforcing positive behavior in a fun and uh, engaging way. So, uh, okay, so that's one of the other sponsor. Uh, the, the next sponsor that we also have is the, is actually the sponsored by Summerfly. And uh, with the Summerfly toys, what they, uh, this is actually a therapeutic uh, tools. Oh, I see Mario is finally here. Uh, Mario, hey, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm gonna bring you on the live stream here. Uh, okay, can you see me, Mario? I can, yes. How yeah, are you? Okay. yeah, I was just trying to, uh, you know, the, the <laughs> do some live stream while I'm waiting for you. So, <laughs> yeah, so do you have the product for the Be Savvy game, which I already talked about earlier? You can do a demonstration. Right okay. here. Big box. <laughs> Okay, so first you want to talk about your background because you have a very unique background. I would love to hear. Yes, um, I am uh, an um, environmental engineer, a bachelor's in mechanical engineering, and I did my master's in environmental engineering. And I've, I've always been um, really uh, enamored with with nature and, and different forms of life. And I work in, in farms uh, a good deal of, uh, of my life. and doing mostly water and wastewater treatment and 10 years ago i uh, decided to become a beekeeper a little bit more than 10 years probably 12 years by now and i became a beekeeper and i devoured every book that i could get my hands on beekeeping and about bees they're super smart animals there's a lot to learn about them 
And the more time I kept bees and the more I learned about bees, the more I thought, gee, there's a lot we can learn about bees mm -hmm. than, and everybody should pretty much know about. And I was trying to capture that in, in, a, in a form uh, that, that it would definitely help everybody understand and learn from bees. And we ended up uh, doing um, a game. Um, it's a board game based on actual bee biology. And the challenge is that you are a bee that is in charge of managing the beehive. Um, it's in, in, uh, in real life, there's no one single manager for the hive. Bees take, uh, make decisions collectively as a democracy, which is pretty cool. Uh, so the queen sets sort of the mood, but in reality, there's, there's uh, specialists in different areas and, and uh, it's super interesting. So play the game and you learn a lot about bees. You learn in, in one game, you learn about uh, four years of beekeeping, worth of beekeeping, because there's four players. <laughs> there's all kinds of scenarios and you won't get stung. And yes, I get stung every year and it still hurts to stay. <laughs> That's a major benefit. <laughs> yeah. And it still hurts. And, and it's always uh, the beast thing is at the at the pain threshold where you really want to run after getting stung. That's the level of, <laughs> of pain that you're not going to have if you just play the game here. <laughs> I got a comment from our live viewer, Angela, saying that, uh, hi there, Mario. I'm excited to learn about your product and company. My cousin and her husband are beekeeper as well. <laughs> awesome. So talking bee beekeeping language, uh, you start with a, with a nuke, which is a starter beehive, it's a small beehive, and you start in the first day of spring. And, uh, that means you're giving... Show the, uh, the token that you have, because you have... Yes. All the so let me, let me show this to you guys right here. So you your starter beekeeping, your beehive, or, or your nuke, it's with... One honey, one pupa, one bee, one larva. Let me, let me find the larva here, here, and one egg. And then you have four cone cells. So this is your starter high, right? As you can see, you have four comb cells and I'll show you the comb cells in a minute. So this, this is a comb cell. Uh, they're interlocking. Let me put it against my backdrop here. So you can start building your hive like this physically you assemble your hive which is pretty cool and then four comb cells one egg one larva one pupa and one honey so as you can see the the whole life cycle of the bee right plus one honey and you start playing through the seasons and the Mad has four seasons here. You start playing in spring, and and you have season cards, a stack of uh, spring cards, and then uh, summer, and then fall, and then winter. And you also have stacks of cards. This is a, for example, a winter card, and uh, each card has, for example, in this guy's says uh, winter storm, two bees die. So winter is hard. There are bee savvy question cards. We'll go here. These are bee trivia based on actual bee biology. Simple things as how many antenna the, this bee has, what's the gender of the queen, to a little bit more complicated stuff as uh, how many ounces of nectar does a bee haul <laughs> or can a bee haul. So you take a one season card, and every player is affected, but whatever the season card says, every once in a while, 
you get a dice card and you throw your dice. And once you throw the dice, you can, depending on what you roll, you can uh, get a bonus, a hazard, or a be savvy question card. So bonuses are, you know, beekeeper adds two bees or beekeeper adds sugar or honey or whatever. And and the hazards are, you know, beekeeper takes two honeys or a bear it's, it's a two bees or the bear it's all the honey and two bees die or whatever. So it's, it's realistic in the scenarios of the things that can happen. The actual uh, survival rate of um, the game is adjusted to real life, which is about 44%. So you have a 44% chance of surviving, and you have a 56% uh, chance of not surviving the four seasons. But don't worry. Uh, if you die, you can uh, get a, another starter beehive uh, anytime in the year. And sometimes if it's that late in the game and it's a, a bad year or a harsh year, that could probably be an advantage. So you never know uh, if you're going to get a, a good year or a bad year. It really depends on how you shuffle the cards. Yeah, so uh, every time you shuffle the cards, it's a completely different game because there's just so many combinations that it's, it's literally trillions upon trillions of different games. So pretty much uh, way, way more than chess. So pretty much every game you play is a different game. Yes. Uh, and that's why there's some very good years where everybody's making a lot of honey and winning or bad years where everybody's dying um the the object of the game is obviously um uh, to to survive the year and then produce as many swarms as possible to make a swarm you need to exchange four honeys and four bees for one swarm token and at the end of the game the one with the most swarm tokens wins and if you want a, a tiebreaker uh or, or if you have a tie the tiebreaker is you count the rest of the chips as one point so it's it's pretty realistic and, and you're going to learn a lot. And no, knowing about bees does not give you an edge, except that sometimes a beekeeper might know the answer of a, a, a bee savvy question card. Uh, but that's just the only situation. The rest of the game, you really don't know if you need to grow fast or grow slow. Um, most of the times, you really need to manage your resources because you want to grow. In order to grow your hive, uh, you need more comb and you need more eggs so you need to exchange uh your pollen card your, your pollen chip for eggs this is uh, what the uh, pollen Mario, let me adjust a few live viewers so elizabeth saying that whoa what a fun interactive learning game <laughs> we have comments from angela saying that it looked super fun and very educational well thank and, you angela and we have a facebook user that say hello then so oh. saying that it looks so cool, and my newer diverse family will love it. Uh, thank you for liking the demonstration today. And we thank have you so much. a comment from a Facebook user saying that my kids love games. So, and then we have another comment saying that uh, love the thinking game. Yeah, this is definitely a lot of thinking because I was actually playing it with two of my kids uh, last weekend. And the first round, I think I, I was just trying to get hand of it. Uh, but I think the second round, everyone, I, I, I died like in spring, I think. <laughs> 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 but it, it can actually, you, your entire hive can get wiped out pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so oh, hard and that, that's true. The bee got, like, we can got wiped out. <laughs> yeah, the keepers are probably happened. laughing right now because that is really the case in real life. <laughs> yeah, and like what happened to my beehive when I was playing with my kid is like, oh, my bees is got killed, and that's like no egg and no nothing. All I have is like honey. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have like empty honey jar pretty much. <laughs> exactly. You only, only had honey. <laughs> I only have honey and nothing else. So in like, that yeah. case, maybe uh, maybe while I have you on the on the call, one of the questions I have when I was playing the game is. Well, in the scenario where your entire beehive died, do you restart or do you start with the original like set again? So if you have more than four cones, then you only get the one bee, one larva, one pupa, and one honey. Oh, okay. 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 If you if you already have the honey and comb, um, then you just get the larva, the pupa. The idea is to complete another starter hive again. Oh, again. Okay, okay. Or if you have a swarm, you can exchange the swarm into... You four. need to exchange the swarm first, yeah. Oh, okay, uh, okay. The penalty, you first cast your swarm, 
If you uh, don't have anything, then you get the charity, <laughs> uh, the, the responding uh, hive, right? Yeah, and it definitely get harder. I know there's a, a variation where you can also choose a location if you want to touch on about the location as well. Yes, so, so there's, uh, this is a, I, I explained the standard game, but um, the the next level game, which is also included in, in this in this game, um, is is the one that has four locations where you have to choose where you want your hive to live. And it could be on a cave, it could be on a forest, it could be on a farm, or it could be on a city. And you cannot move your hive so in, in the whole game. So you're stuck with it and you live or die by that. And then you have uh, five different extreme events that hit some of the uh, locations, but not all of them. And then you can pretty much put those extreme event cards either inter in the seasons, intertwine them there in the, in the seasons, or just put them on the on the dice cards with the hazards. And those extreme events are, for example, fire. Fire will affect the forest, but definitely not a cave. Um, uh, a flood would affect um, maybe the city and maybe the cave, but not the for the forest because having a forest is pretty high. Um, so uh, there's uh, pesticides which will affect the uh, hives in the farm, but definitely not the ones in the forest or the cave, and so on and so forth. Uh, earthquakes, earthquake uh, the will be affecting, uh, for example, the cave and the city, but not necessarily the farm or the forest. of risk. Unfortunately, those extreme events are total death. <laughs> right? So you get hit with one of those and you die completely. You need to start oh, again. That's how it works. I wasn't really sure about extreme events when I was playing. No, ex extreme events, if it's they hit you in your location, you are happens. done. Yeah. Now, oh, the okay. other thing you can do is uh, just pick one of those five extreme events uh, by random and that way not everybody will die right uh, so there's all kinds of variations you can yeah. do to we change have a the game question from the live viewer elizabeth is asking what are the suggested age for the board game so we, we've tested it even with with small kids even as, as small as four years uh, they they love playing with the chips and assembling the they're probably just gonna like the chips and do flowers and things like that with the with the assembling interlocking comb but um, certainly at age six, where they're uh, almost engaged in school, they can certainly play as long as you read the cards to them. And by age eight, they can play on their own. But if you're with them, even even at four years, they probably can engage for a little bit and, and their attention span is, is less than probably the full length of the game. But you can definitely play one season with a four-year-old. They love it. And they get the, the transition from... Pupa, uh, egg to larva to pupa to bee they get that pretty quickly uh so you just gotta tell them now it's time to make everything older and age everything is how we call it so you age your egg and you change that chip for a larva chip and then your larva you change it for a pupa chip and your pupa you change it for a bee and and that's how you play the game yeah and i also include uh i have a few image of the actual game so for those of you uh like is designed for one to four player uh age like like mario's mentioned is about eight but if it's younger the parent can also guide them yes and, yeah it's pretty flexible it depends on how many seasons you want to play it could take like an hour to finish so yes if, if you want to do it just an hour you can certainly do it in, in an hour if you want to do the full game with four people that are hardcore gamers it, it could probably do two hours but it's i don't think it's longer than two hours yeah yeah and this is what is all included in the game. I, I think the I, the part I like is like the the comb because it then you're almost like building your like like base. You know, like you get bigger and bigger as you go. Yeah. So uh, so one other thing we did, uh, Jason, when we were designing the game, um, it was designed by by me and my son, my thirteen year old son, mm -hmm. who is a hardcore board gamer, uh, and he he wanted to play Monopoly every weekend until after a few years it got you know it's a good game but it, it got 
boring after a few years. So we try to incorporate the great parts of Monopoly. Oh, your, right. your money is, is not money, is is the honey and you pollen. Can, yeah. And you can exchange your honey for for comb cells, or you yeah. can exchange pollen for eggs. So those are your, your money, but they're they're also your food, right? So you can't really run out of, of honey and pollen. Uh, we also incorporated other things uh, as that Monopoly doesn't have. For example, in Monopoly, each player plays at once. So you have to wait for each player to do their moves before you can move. And that gets very boring. Uh, yeah. And people get desperate. Here, everybody moves at the same time. So as you pick the season card, you read it, and everybody does, does their own thing exchanges chips ages everything so you're not waiting for anybody and and that's the cool part so you're not necessarily playing against other players you're playing your own game against mother nature and and you're trying to beat everybody of course but you really uh, very rarely you interact with other players there there are opportunities to interact and steal from them uh, but there's just very limited cards to do that I think I just struggle to make sure my beehive actually survive. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> when I was playing, like, keep on dying. <laughs> so. And it's it's really interesting because you get three consecutive good cards, uh-huh. and it's a magnificent year. You get three bad cards, and you're probably going to die. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and there's yeah. the same number of good cards than bad cards, but when you shuffle them, if if you get three bad ones, it's gonna be a bad year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think you also uh, time each of the cards so it actually represents a week. Like I think that's how you design the game, right? So each yes. round nine. So there's fifty two season cards. Yeah. So each each one card represents a week in real life, and then you have the dice card, which is an extra card. But uh, but yeah, the each each season. Uh, card represents a week, and and we try to be true to what happens. In, for example, in spring, you get a lot more blossoms, you get a lot of nectar. Uh, the weather's mild, mildly good most of the time, so bees are happy. Summer, you get a lot more heat. You got to bring water in. That's just a waste of time and effort, but you got to bring water in. Uh, there's there's less rain. Uh, there's Still blossoms, but but there's a little bit of of uh, other uh, weather related events, and then fall, you you really start noticing that there's less nectar around and a lot more weather events. And winter is really brutal. You're just trying to winter survive. Is tough. I just die in winter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, really? like winter almost as a bee. Yeah, there's there's just one or two early blossoms. Uh, which, by the way, if you ask which blossoms are those. Those are almond blossoms, and, oh, wow. and almonds start blossoming in January, and there are lifesavers for bees. Uh, but m- any more than that, there's not more much more going in winter. So really, you have to be prepared, and that's something else that helps kids because kids today, I I, I classify them as as the microwave popcorn kids, right? <laughs> I don't know if you remember, Jason, when when I was little. If you wanted popcorn, you had to, you know, take a pan, put some oil in there, and and put the corn in there, and start moving it on the stove. And after a while, you get popcorn, right? Sure. So nowadays, you want popcorn, you push a button in the microwave, you know, thirty seconds later, you get popcorn. <laughs> so this yeah. helps these kids think that there's not going to be an immediate reward if you want to be. You're going to have to buy an egg and wait four weeks for it to hatch into a bee. And and uh, if you want honey, you're going to have to bring nectar and wait a week for it to turn to honey, right? And then that's on the on the slow time or, or, or the smaller uh, time frame, which is a weekly thing. Mm-hmm. But then you have the seasons that are, you know, three months each. And they have to think, hey, winter's coming. And if I'm not prepared, you know, I'm going to die. So they, they have to learn to accumulate stuff. And it's it's an implicit way of know how to save money, manage your resources. Um, sometimes they go all out and use all their honey to be a super huge hive. And they quickly realize that they don't have any food. <laughs> sometimes 
yeah. they just want to have all the honey and they quickly re realize that they they need more bees actually you know so well, there's, a, there's a fine balance in there <laughs> that's why i have an empty honey jar <laughs> 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 exactly. You, you never bought uh, more eggs, right? <laughs> no, I was just trying to save up for honey. There's not enough bees to do all the work. So, yeah, I have another comment here. She's saying that uh, she like it. Her child struggle waiting extended period for his turn, and he always want to be the first. Okay, so there's also another feature that we did in this game which is that you can play at a different game level. There's beginner, intermediate, standard, you know, expert, professional, and master. So you're when you throw the die, kids can get all the bonuses all the time. Like in this case, one, two, three, and four are bonus. Five and six are just questions, but there's no hazards. And that can always lose because he's playing at the master level. And pretty much every time he throws the die, He's gonna have a hazard, so kids can win without you letting them win. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they'll they'll have a blast with that because yes, little kids get frustrated if they lose, and and um, uh, there's debates whether you let should let them win or not. Uh, my dad never let me win, and that was frustrating. And I always let my kids win, and they actually think they can beat me. So. I don't know where the balance is, but here uh, the rules are the rules, so you can pick your poison. And <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining the uh, the live stream with me today and showcasing the wonderful product. Uh, where is the best place for the viewer to find you? It's uh, www.bsabbygame.com. Savvy is with two Vs, right? Yeah, so I'll just put that in the comment section so you, uh, for the viewer that is interested want to find more and the product will be also available on Amazon here shortly we are working on that as well <laughs> we're working on that I'm super excited to work with Jason and his wonderful team uh, they really are super professionals I tried it on my own and I'm, I'm not a good marketer so I'm just a <laughs> beekeeper engineer <laughs> but it's definitely you should stick to your guns so appreciate your effort jason okay and just a final reminder for those of you that haven't joined our live of uh, the autism awareness giveaway please visit luckykit.com forward slash giveaway to enter this month's giveaway and is uh, since we're toward the end of live stream is also time to pick a winner for the this uh, this uh, particular live stream which will be giving away one of the bsav board game for for one live viewer only so All right. uh, please, please comment below if you are still with us live and we're going to be picking a winner here in a few seconds here. So, uh, and we have a new feature in our live stream, as you can see on the top left is our lottery jar. Every time uh, the viewer comment, your name and your profile is going to drop to this lottery jar and it's, we're going to auto, we're going to randomly choose a winner from our lottery jar at the end of the live stream. So if you haven't comment below, uh, you have a few seconds to do so before I'm going to choose a winner. So, okay, let's choose a winner now. I uh, don't see there's any more uh, comment coming in. So let's choose a winner. Okay, the winner is, today is, uh, sorry if I couldn't pronounce your first name correctly, Bri, uh, how do I pronounce Brianna, it? maybe? Brianna, Brianna. Brianna, awesome. today. So please email Mario. Mario, what is the best email for her to email you so she can get a prize for the live stream? It's mariochapa36 at gmail.com. Okay, let me make sure I find that email uh, and put it in the chat for her. So, and Brianna, by the way, your your comment about the the kid always wanted to be first. I noticed with my kid, he wanted to be first and and really frustrated when he lost, and that changed right when I, he was about eleven. So after that, he said that I don't don't need you to let me win anymore. I can really try, and and it's gotten a lot more uh, interesting now, but. But he himself decided that now it was time. So my advice is yes, let them win when they're small, and once they're preteen, they'll they'll want a third fight. Yeah, I, I can relate to that because I'm actually I have been losing to my son at chess recently. He's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> I need to hold on my skill <laughs> for chess. Exactly. 
Yeah, seeing as the fee savvy game is actually not it, it, because everyone's just kind of ma like managing their own economy, so it's a little bit different dynamic compared to other other game I have played. Yes, and and for beekeepers, I know we still have some beekeepers. Um, we actually sold a lot on the American Honey Producers uh, Association show up there in uh, Kentucky, in Louisville, and uh, a lot of university PhDs that work with bees. Had a ball playing with it, and and they were ecstatic. They played all all three nights that were we were there, oh, wow. and they asked me if they could split the hives with their swarms and have two hives running at the same time. And I said, you actually can. It's just a lot of work, but is, if you yeah. enjoy it, now you have to. Try. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like poker, where you split the deck. exactly, <laughs> almost like like splitting your your game in. Uh, what is it uh, in blackjack, right? You, you yeah, blackjack, your... you can split your hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see what they're trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was wonderful having you on the show today. And thank you for uh, also giving away your wonderful product. Uh, and uh, I was, and hopefully, we'll do more of the live stream next week with other participating brands as well. But thank you for your, thank you so much for your time today, Mario. And uh, thank you for creating this wonderful educational board game for the kids <laughs> and for their generation. My pleasure, and, and thank you, everybody. And then, uh, Brianna, send me your your address, and I'll ship uh, your uh, game uh, right away. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. Have a good one.